Hello, I'm Sam Gambier, Chairman of Radiology at Stanford University and Head of the Canary Center at Stanford. We're also developing many imaging tools that are the next generation of imaging for detecting low numbers of cancer cells in different parts of your body. One example of such an imaging tool is photoacoustic imaging. Here, light goes into your body. Usually the light is from a laser that is operating at a very high frequency. That light leads to a slight heating of tissues within your body, and that heat leads to sound waves and the sound waves are detected by us listening to your body. So light goes in and sound comes back out. That's why it's called photoacoustics. We've developed photoacoustic scanners not only for small animals but more recently for human use and the goal is to test these photoacoustic scanners in breast cancer and prostate cancer to see if in fact we can detect smaller and smaller numbers of cancer cells. Another example of a technology that's being developed at Canary Center is that with ultrasound based imaging of cancer. As you may know, ultrasound is used throughout the medical community, for example, for imaging the fetus in the womb of the mother. But we've been developing approaches in which small tiny bubbles called micro bubbles that are filled with a gas are injected into your blood. And we've trained these bubbles to go and hunt down cancer. So these bubbles have molecules on them that help them to lock into cancer. As the bubbles wander around your body, they eventually lock into any cancer if it exists. And now when you use a simple ultrasound machine, one can detect whether in fact you have cancer hidden in that area of the body. This technology has been tested extensively in small animals, and we're now working with the Food and Drug Administration to be able to test these micro bubbles with ultrasound in patients that may have cancer. If this technology works, it would revolutionize early cancer detection because it could be done using simple ultrasound machines that are available throughout the world and be relatively low cost, allowing it to be married to blood-based testing for early cancer detection.